Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dalton at Daltonians TFs, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Bionicle figure. Wednesday I said we we're going to look at either Pahatu or Anua. Today I decided, you know, let's go ahead and do the review on another part that goes with Golly, and that is the Protector of Water. So you can see this is a smaller set. It's It retails for about 10 bucks. It's number 70780. It's got 65 pieces. A nice shot there. Just a little bit going on here with the new stud shooter and the combination with Golly. So let me get this thing opened up. I'll set out the parts and I'll be... So yeah, be right back. And here are all the parts for the protector of water. So you can see all the bones and armor pieces here and then all the internal pieces here. So let's go ahead and let me get this built. Actually, you know, I'll go ahead and build this one on camera too. So we guys can see how this one is built. So let me get this all started and I will see you guys here in a minute. And here is the Protector of Earth, all completed, built up, very nice looking. And <clears throat> not a bad little build. Now, one thing I've noticed about the Protectors, I have, this is the only one I've purchased so far, but they all have the same mask. The only thing that's different is basically their torso and leg build, sometimes arm build. And the fact that they all come with a one of these but it's always different and different little things you can add to the Toa figures. Now this one, since it's a water figure, it comes with these little propellers and a harpoon stud shooter. Now one thing I think would be nice is to get some of the Matoran that we got in the original Bionicle series along with the Turaga and some, you know, more villains other than just the Skull Spiders. Speaking of which, it comes with the same Skull Spider that Golly comes with, just so I can show you. I can find it it's right here. There you are. So both have silver skull spiders. And so you can see it compared to Toagali. It is quite small, only goes up to her waist. So let's set her aside for a second. Now one thing I do like is the way they've done this mask. They've molded it in both translucent and uh, regular dark cyan plastic so it's molded together there is no paint on it which is really cool and again all the joints are the same uh, you get some different feet here kind of that digiti grade style and like you've seen earlier these propellers do spin now you can take these all off make sure I do this right basically you just take these off at the shoulders Actually, you know what, let me go ahead and just pause it here, and I will have it on all on Golly here in just a minute. Uh, real quick, before I do go with that, I'll show you the function of the stud shooter. So you got a little gear back here, and then once you turn that, it fires these little blue stud pieces. Now, whoop, the way it works is there's this little, little bar, not really a bar, but a little notch. And as it goes by, it presses against 
the top of the studs and it just bumps them enough to pop them out of place and I, I think this is a really cool thing and it does come with seven extra pieces in case you lose any of these so that is nice that Lego added those almost at Hasbro but that's a different company <laughs> so yeah let me say, like I said uh, let me get these parts put on Golly and we'll see that all combined in her ultra powered form so we are back and here is Golly with all of her armor with the protectors parts now you can see here her blades for her battle axe are now on her well under her fist attached to this giant cannon weapon and now she has her own little propeller blades you can store the other halves of the weapons through these little slots here and she also has her golden mask of power so now she is fully armed and ready to fight just to bring the protector back in kinda of bare looking now as far as extra parts you only get the seven little stu blue studs along with these two pins and the little spacer so that's pretty much it for that uh, for the protector not a bad little figure a lot of cool little additions to Golly that you can have now. Again, like the original Nuva figure, you have these now. So that's pretty awesome. So if you want to get these guys, you can. They're, the Toa, like I said, retail from either $15 or $20. Golly costs $15. Tahu and the other larger figures cost $20. These protectors cost $10. So if you want to going out and get those now you can so that's pretty much it to say I kinda like this protector it's not a bad little figure like I said pretty cool I uh, just wish there was the Matoran and the Turaga and some more monsters and villains but apparently that we might be getting some more stuff later this year I hope so so hope you guys enjoyed this video check out the other two videos I've done being Gali and Tahu I will be doing more later hope you enjoyed check out my Facebook and Twitter down in the description below and I will see you guys next time